Hi everyone. Uh, I hope you had a great uh, 4th of July yesterday and uh, that it was safe and you enjoyed a fun time of just celebrating our uh, nation's independence. Uh, today uh, we get to dive into a great deep passage uh, from the book of James chapter 2 uh, as we talk about James uh, calling us uh, to uh, not have prejudice against any person. And he, and he really equates this call that we're to love everyone equally, welcome everyone equally, connect with everyone equally, uh, and he relates it all back to the commandment of Jesus uh, that we are commanded to love each other. Uh, that that's the greatest commandment, the commandment of really the New Testament. Uh, and I think uh, we struggle with this. And I think James writes about it because uh, as Christians, I think for most of us, we actually like the law. We like the Old Testament law because it's easy to sit there and have all these rules I have to live into. But when, when I'm just given one rule, which is radical love, that becomes a hard thing because radical love calls me to every instance in my life, every time I'm with somebody, every time I'm in community, to ask the question, are the actions that I'm doing reflecting love? Are they reflecting radical love? And, and that has deep consequences for us. It's harder to do that because it calls for sacrifice and sacrificial living. And that's exactly what J James is calling us to right here in this passage. He's saying if we are living into the commandment to love each other, then we're going to treat each person equally. And that, that becomes so important for us in our Christian community, in our neighborhoods, uh, and in our, uh, in our small groups and everything that we're about as a disciple of Christ. Now I want to add one quick thing on that, because I have people bring this up to me sometimes. What about the people that come into a community or into your small group or maybe in your neighborhood or wherever that are destructive? Uh, and, and to love each person doesn't mean that I can't have boundaries uh, that uh, I put up for destructive traits. If there's somebody in my life that's doing bad things, God also wants me to still take care of myself and protect my community. So it's okay sometimes to have boundaries to not let people do anything or walk over us or injure us or hurt us. Uh, but, but the thing that we struggle with, most of us, is just uh, that we like to like people that are like us. And, and God calls us to something much more. The, the command of love calls us to much more, which is to love everyone, uh, even and maybe especially those people that aren't like us. So that's our goal today. And that's what we're called to live into. So have fun trying to live into that. I, I know that it's something that I'm continually trying to work more and more into my life. God bless.